our next <laughs> our next guest has been labelled a national treasure. A com- Stop it. A comedic genius who's made a name for herself. <laughs> She's already got me laughing. With parody videos that can tease a laugh out of anyone. Take a look. <laughs> Don't show up. Celeste, Don't come out. Celeste Barber is Don't one very out. busy woman. She's just penned a, penned a kid's book as an, as an upcoming comedy tour and is now partnering with Bras and Things to release a very own collection. And ladies and gentlemen, here she is, the woman herself, Celeste Barber. <laughs> Wind machine. Oh, look. Oh, I mean... No, I don't have a wind machine, and I'm firing everyone for not getting me one. <laughs> hey, it's just in a little hand fan. That's all you need. Celeste, it's so good to see you. How Hi, busy are you at the moment? Do you ever take a break? Yes, I've been in bed for two days, so yeah, I quite like I quite like a break. But I'm pretty busy at the moment, and so excited about this project with bras and things. I'm so happy that we get to launch it today. It feels like it's been. Well, it has. It's been uh, ages getting it together because of the pandemic and everything. But now it's finally here and I'm really excited. Well, what does Celeste Barber look for in a good bra, I've been wondering? Uh, one that will cover my nipples. <laughs> Great. Important. Awesome. Crucial. Sometimes they go here and no one needs to see that. Um, I also am a very big fan of a bralette. So for those of you playing at home going, what? Ones that don't have underwire, mm. I quite like that. So um, we designed a few bralettes in this range. And, yeah, and undies that don't roll down when my when I sit down and my belly does its thing. Yeah, I don't that's like exactly that. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Yeah. Um, this has been good. really enlightening for me, I have to say, <laughs> and I'm really here for it. Would you like me to carry on? Uh, <laughs> no, I want to talk about your tour because yes. also you've got this amazing comedy tour that we've all been dying to see. It's been a long time coming. It's 2022. You must have a lot of material ready to go. I do, I do. I realise because we're sitting inside, well, for a long time we've been sitting inside not doing much, there's a lot been going on outside and I've been keeping my, a very close eye on that. So I've got a fair bit to say about the madness of the world and I'm just ready to go back on stage and scream at people. I mean, I do that at home anyway, but I'm excited to do it on stage and get paid for it. <laughs> This, your videos that are on the other side of the screen are really... We have short attention spans. We, we love them. them. Hey, you, you want to talk about the madness of the last year. You've been living it because you live in the border bubble. You, you know, you're based at Tweet Heads where, you know, you live a matter of metres away from Queensland but you haven't been able to enter the state. Tell us what the last year's been like for you. Nightmare. Um, it's crazy. My, I'm in New South Wales and my kids go to school in New South Wales, but because we're right on the border, we have to drive through Queensland to get back home. So it's a 15 minute drop off, but about a 45 to an hour and a half pickup to go home to get back through the border traffic. Um, I don't know the last time Palaszczuk probably came to the border to see what it's like. She's been to Tokyo, but not to the border. Um, And it's an absolute nightmare here at the moment. So I'm so happy you brought it up. It's, it's not triggering at all. <laughs> <laughs> can't, you, can't you outsource the pickup to the hot husband? Yeah, we love the I hot husband. I know I do that a lot, but, like, the one time I do it every three months, I'm like, I probably should show my face. <laughs> it's really annoying. <laughs> so, look, well, let's go back to the videos, though, because what, I mean, I'm surprised you haven't done Mariah yet, or maybe you have and I've missed it. I mean, are there people that you, like, you think, OK, they're my go-tos, but there's some, like... Have you, are you scared to try something like Mariah just in case she's like, oh, I'm going to fix her? Oh, no, I've done Mariah. I'm oh, not good. scared to do anyone because it's not about the person. It's about, you know, don't hate the player, hate the game. That's the whole whole idea yes. of it. Got kind of poking fun at the industry and, you know, just kind of cutting through all the body shaming crap that we are still fed mm. all the time. So it's never about the individual. It's always about, you know, the bigger picture. Do you ever get nervous, you know, that that you've gone too far or that you might, you know, offend someone? Because, you know, we live in an age where comedy is becoming increasingly sensitive for people around the world, not just here in Australia. Do do you ever get a little bit, you know, um, nervous about that, anxious? 
No, I'm okay. <laughs> 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 Keep calm and carry on then. I don't mind ruffling feathers. I really don't. And, you know, the people that I parody are the most privileged, beautiful, rich people in the world. It's not as though, you know, I'm going after people who are, are struggling or anything. You know what I mean? It's not a minority group. It's 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 people who are the most privileged. So I don't I don't really worry. Sometimes I might go, oh, I wonder how that, they'll take it. And then... I will get a message from that person going, I love you so much, thank you, this is the best. And That's I'm like, it. okay, yeah. well, I'm on the right track. That's well, it. I can't let You're you go. My sister would shoot me if I didn't say on national television that she's your biggest fan and she just lives up the road in Queensland. So when, you know, Border Bubble... Oh, Forget it was your biggest fan. I can't fan. go there. You can't I, go I, there. I, I, but as soon as you can, she'll be expecting yeah. you. I want you to know she that. She lives across the road. I can't see her. I can go to Prague, yeah. but I can't go across the road. Yeah. <laughs> I look, but, you can, yeah. but we can get your collection everywhere, right? Bras and Things is on sale today. We're launching today, so you can get it in store. Just look for the massive life-size photos of me in my underwear. Um, and it's also, yeah, it's online internationally as well. And I'm so excited. Um, this is like a bit of a dream come true for me. I'm You're really the best. excited. You're the best. You're the best, Celeste. We appreciate you so much. Thanks, you guys. Bye. Take care. Can't wait to see you on stage too.